you're still aboard Megan's ship, it feels odd. What is this place? Where am I? This is the void. I can feel something moving closer, watching. Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. Here we go. We actually get a choice this time around. No powers mode. While that seems very interesting for a challenge, I will accept the Outsider's Mark. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of... something. All the stories, they're true. For each. Incredible. Alright, that's pretty cool. It's not Blink, but it's different. It's... For each. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. I like it. It has physics to it. It feels... familiar. Oh, no. We have the heart as Emily as well. You might remember this heart from the first one. It speaks to us. I... know you. Do you remember? It's been so long. And you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself. It's good, good to, to know, know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but somewhere else. Only the last of my essence. With you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift. And my curse. Summon me to your hand. And I will guide you when I can. In the first game it was never stated outright that the heart was the Empress Heart, but if you read between the lines and listen to all her all her voice lines, you could figure it out. This game is made more obvious. And so Emily holds the last echo of her mother's heart in her hand. And like in the first game, it will lead us where we need to go. And it will tell us about things like the void. There are no stars in the sky here. There is no sky. It shouldn't be here. No one should. And in thousands of years, few have seen this place. 
Is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. We know who Delilah is. Dowd knows who Delilah is. But Corvo and Emily never encountered her, even though she posed the biggest threat to Emily's reign. Well, right now she is the threat to Emily's range. And here is an outsider shrine and some whalebone runes. Portraits of the age, all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic. With a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. Everything has been turned inside out, but I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka is the southernmost port in the Empire, once proud but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirconan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Back in reality. But not unchanged. This was once my world. All things from the northernmost shores to here, Karnaka in the south. Even without eyes to look upon the world, I see so much. Once nearly all things were hidden. It's not where you used to, living in a palace, but this is all the coin I could scrape up. So this is what we have for now. Crossbow, a gun, and our newly acquired supernatural powers. But, we can find more, but we can buy more stuff in the black market shops.
unlike Corvo, the first one, Emily covered up her mark. Kinda smart, I guess. Depending on who you want to intimidate. Oh, Anton's been taken. <laughs> Storage door has been blocked. And the tax. That's a side quest for ours. Now that we're in the ship. Alright, this is where we need to go. Somewhere near the old hands. They drink poison together. This old couple. A banker tricked them out of their home. Going on a little bit of a swim. For a good cause. Alright, let's get out of here before we drown. Too close. But, it was worth it. Let's check the power menu. We have three rooms total with this one that we just picked up. There was two at the outside of Shrine and now this one. And of course, we're going to find plenty as the game goes longer. What are these things? Premonition and Greater Dark Vision. Upgrades to the Dark Vision power. There's different levels of upgrades here. We also have Mesmerize. Summons a void spirit to enthrall humans or hounds. That is six runes. Domino. This is a really cool one. It links targets together so that they die or fall unconscious together. Far Reach. This is a good one. I think I'm going to end up using this one a lot. Primarily means of locomotion. Far Reach is also useful for avoiding enemies. We already have two upgrade options. We have Pull Objects and Decelerate. If you are falling, time is briefly slowed as you aim for reach. That's pretty handy. And next, Pull Enemies. That's going to be pretty cool. Other options, Doppelganger. Creates a shade of ourselves. Which can be confusing enemies as it fades away. That can fight and assassinate when undetected. And Transposition. Twin Shades. There's a lot of cool powers here. And of course, Shadow Walk. Assume a stealthier form for a short time. Rat Shadows, improved Shadow Attack, Shadow Run, Greater Shadow Attack. Meanwhile, we have the passive powers. Strength, Vitality, Reflexes, Agility. Agility is always a good one. It's always nice to be able to jump higher. And Bloodthirst, Bone Charm Crafting. Interesting! You can craft Bone Charms of your own. Do you get Raw Whalebone? And you put traits together. Lower chance of corruption. Use the same trait up to four times. No chance of corruption. Craft runes by expending raw babel and blah blah blah. That's making runes rather than just charms. Damn. Oh man, I'm looking forward to getting stronger and stronger. Not quite sure what to go for first. Maybe just upgrade far reach a bit or possibly go for shadow kill. Because... This is very, very cool. <laughs> then again, agility is always useful as well. Being able to jump higher. That's almost always worth it. I'm gonna get the jump higher thing just to start with. My first two. Take less falling damage? I don't think we necessarily need that yet. The Jewel of the South. My father's birthplace. So we have one rune left. I don't think I'm going to spend that right now. I think I'll save it for a bigger upgrade. So the next one we get, and then we'll probably upgrade Far Reach. Unless we want to get Sprint faster. I don't think we want to get Sprint faster yet. This is a better fighting thing. Yeah, greater thing. Break down wooden doors. Do what thirst. Man, I'm looking forward to doing this. Somewhere an old woman is beating a servant. He is but a boy. Beating leave him lie. He is late with the tea. I see Karnaka falling into darkness. 
hate and corruption. If only it were not so. I knew this world 15 years ago. Some part of me remains, but the world seems strange. I hear laughter. Somewhere there is still merriment in song, and the gentle ease of friendship. Sometimes I remember the breeze on my skin. Why do so many have so little? It was never meant to be this way. No, I... I don't want to kill anyone. Well, I mean... Kill the ones who deserve it, but... I think that's enough listening to the heart for now. Alright. Adamire Solution. I assume that is basically mana potions. And yes, Sokolov, who's studying the blood flies. Exotic insects unlike anything else in Zirconos. Like many things, they originate in another Pandisian continent. So did the uh, Plague Rats from Dishonored 1. Interesting. Well, I want to stay the hell away from these if I can. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Crystal years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good, before and after the Rat Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestone smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwall in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen from you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <sighs> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Well, I'm gonna bet that one of our first missions is going to get Sokolov back. An old man. Hardly a saint, but it's going to be very useful. Alright. I think that's it for this room. There's quite a lot in here, actually, including all these blood flies. Kind of creepy looking. we'd say. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history, but he wouldn't say more. <laughs> Alright, Megan, let's talk. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Actually, we could try to find our way through that door first. The storage room. Do we have to sort of go around a bit, maybe? We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is alright. Wherever he is. Yeah, me too. How do we get there? We have to drop into it from above, maybe? Huh? 
Well, that didn't seem to do much good. At all. That's not a hatch, no. Huh. Well, this is pretty cool. It's not exactly a way into the storage room, but I did find some Edermeyer. And the Dreadful Whale Accounting. Spend coins on. Not exactly exciting stuff. Hmm. Alright. How can I get into that storage room? The door is here. Does it look like there could be any more ways to get through? The outside? I sort of fall from the side of the boat. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we can't even open from this side. Alright, fair enough. Incendiary bolts, though. Be handy. More Adermeyer. Lots of copper wire. A little bit of cider. Not now. Is that it? That wasn't actually particularly valuable. Although, as far as I know, it could be super useful. Why does it... It still says blocked. Oh, I can just remove that one. With a sword, of course. Or the gun. <laughs> That also works if I if I shoot. It's just a uh, target practice. All right, how's that for missions? Yeah, it's just the next one. It's the black market shop. All right, Megan, what's going on? All right, you've explained part of it, but what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka. But he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. I... didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set up for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the Alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready. All right. We have our mission. This Dr. Hypatia. She seems to represent the good that's possible within the Empire. Shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress. Emily Caldwin is met with a violent demise. Yeah. I don't know Duke Luca Abel, but Corvo served under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. Well, now he's dead. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. Sokolov seems so much older now. Well, it's been 15 years. So, the Crown Killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. And the map. It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station.
ready for me to drop you at the docks. Let's go. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. <laughs> 